It really was a marriage made in, made in heaven. Um, we cover the whole spectrum of food protein science and very few groups worldwide would actually do that. So Hajinda's expertise in the physics and chemistry of the molecular structures of proteins combined with my work on, on the physiological and health outcomes of protein science really gives us the A to Z of protein. The first impact is the, the, the outcome of the, the fundamental science itself. It's doing that work, um, it's adding to world knowledge. That The fundamental science can then be taken to strategic research and ultimately to near market research, which takes that fundamental knowledge into actual product and service development for industry and thus innovates the New Zealand economy. The only way the New Zealand food industry and agri-food in general is going to lift its act economically is by the use of science and technology. And we feel very privileged to be a centre of research excellence and be at that fundamental end of, of, of the science, going right through that innovation pipeline eventually to products in New Zealand industries. And the Institute is having a lot of success at both levels, A, the fundamental science, and, and, and the world-class recognition, but right through to developing a whole raft of products which are innovating the New Zealand economy. There's, lot, there's lots more to be done. The, the, the fundamental sciences that we, we have done in the past, uh, what it has done is created a lot of new ideas and, and of course it's generated a lot of graduate students and scientists who have gone out to industry and they've been working with us to develop those, some of those ideas further. And that has benefited the industry greatly because uh, they picked up their knowledge and taken that in to create new processes and new products. One example would be our spin-out company Spears Nutritionals Limited, where uh, we did fundamental work on um, working with fish oil actually, determining a molecular uh, microencapsulation of fish oil which allows us to put that material into all types of food where the consumer doesn't taste or smell the fish. And that's a difficult thing to do. And it's a great example because it really takes very fundamental science, um, and when I talk about that encapsulations, that's physics and chemistry, takes that very fundamental science right through to a practical product which has now been sold in Europe, um, whereby uh, Ritter Institute Science is innovating a whole range of new, very healthy food products. Because we have a huge number of very, very bright minds here, young scientists, creating new ideas, new possibilities. Uh, what we need some mechanism of, of taking those ideas and screening them further and develop into some potential uh, innovations. And so that we intend to use this money to, to fill that gap uh, and work on those kind of the translational research, if you like.